Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Tuesday to you. I hope your day's going good. Mine's going a lot better than I anticipated. I managed to borrow a laptop from someone, so I got a few hours with it. So I won't be doing a project build or anything like that. Uh, I was chatting with Alan, aka the Woodworking Junkie, a couple days ago about hand tool woodworking. He's been getting more and more into that. And a while back I sent him a set of chisels, and I honed them up and sharpened them for him before I sent them off. And he was wondering how to like resharpen and how to hone a new chisel so today i figured why not show you guys how i do it so this is i guess you could say a how i do video so let's go over to the bench and see how i do all right guys so here's my sharpening setup i got my flat surface which is nothing more than a piece of glass from my old entertainment center door i got my water stone holder that i bought from rockler although you could make your own and watch my how-to video in the cards above Get your water stones or sandpaper, whichever you prefer. I got an 800 and a 4,000. Soaking of water is a 1,000 and 8,000. Unless you're going to do it freehand, you get yourself a good honing guide. There's many of them out there. I prefer this one by Veritas. I like it because it shows different degrees right here. There's 30, 35, general's 25, 15, and 20. You just turn a knob. Simple as that. Um, and then here's the jig. What you want to do is you loosen up the screw, slide your chisel in there. And this one is the Craftsman chisel. I'm doing this one in particular because I sent these out to Alan. What you want to do is slide that into a jig. And this one calls for a 30 degree bevel. I found that out because what you do is once you get it in there, you slide it all the way up. And if the points meet, then that's what degree it is. And then you just simply tighten down this big screw up here and you're good to go. All right, so now that you determined your bevel and what degree it is, you get your water stone. Throw some water on there. You want to make sure you always keep it wet if you're going with water stones. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hone it, which is simply just flattening the bottom of the chisel. Start off with 800, work your way up to, and you could go all the way up to 8,000 or whatever your highest grid is, but what that's going to do is flatten out your chisel and bring it to a nice shine so it's nice and flat. Once you get that dulled look kind of has a faded color you guys could totally tell that already and that's when you go on to your next next water stone which would be for me the 4000 I'm going to skip it to all right now we're at the 4000 soak it up a little bit and this is going to bring it to a shine you don't have to get the whole the whole bottom of the uh, chisel either you just want to I'd say like it like a good inch or so. More minutes here. Probably like a good 10 more minutes. All right, now for me, this would be good enough. Flip it back over to the 800 grit. Pretty much do the same thing. Get the water stone wet, keep it nice and wet. And the amount of pressure that you wanna put on it, I personally go with the weight of the chisel. So, you know, with, or, you know, the way the chisel and the uh, jig. So it's like barely any pressure, you know, downforce pressure. Just use the way of the chisel and the jig. This part takes the longest. But once you get that bevel in your micro bevel, if you choose to do so, resharpening doesn't take all but like five, maybe ten minutes max, depending on how far you want to take. On to the 1000. And you want to, like, you know, not just stay in one place. You want to go across the whole stone gradually. Otherwise, it'll be uneven and worn. And uh, another thing I didn't add in is you want to get yourself a water stone, a uh, flattener stone. Yeah, you definitely want that. It's just basically a stone with a bunch of lines in it, different type of stone and you just use it to flatten your water stone because eventually you're going to get like, like little dips and stuff in there eventually no matter what you do there's no way around it and you're probably wondering like well how do i know when to switch the stones well when you start off with your chisel you know you don't have anything but a bunch of machine lines so now i'm starting to get starting to get that shine to it right there that bevel it's gonna get out of focus now that I'm close, but you, you can see that shiny little line right there. That's the bubble you want. That's that's where all all the magic happens. I've had this 800 4000 grit water stone for a little bit over a year now, and I've flattened it 
we flattened it probably like four or five times. And I would imagine this thing would last me at least a good shit, probably like ten years. <laughs> All depends on how much you use it, I guess. That's I mean that's nice and sharp. But like I said, I want it to be sharp. Er. I love the Nortons. I mean, don't get me wrong, these ones are these little Japanese ones are nice, but these Nortons are huge. A lot of surface. And everybody's got their own way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so that is that for sharpening a brand new, never been used chisel. Alright, so that was my sharpening video. I know it was rather long and kind of boring, but maybe you guys got inspired to sharpen your chisels. Maybe pick something up that you didn't know. Hope you guys liked it though. That's most importantly. So, not sure when my next build video is going to be. I know I need to get a new laptop. Maybe I could borrow this one again. But, uh, I don't know. Time will tell. So, till then, keep cutting, stay screwing, and thanks for watching. Have a good week. Tool Junkie 55516, over and out.